Yep. Hi guys, so we, we've just landed. This is Captain Chris Marin. How are you doing? You've seen him before in one of my videos. Uh, this is what he shows, as you can see there. You've got uh, TO, which is maximum rate of thrust at the top. And the OAT, it says 32 degrees thrust limit, 32 degrees. Um, we've got 32 degrees, that's an artificial temperature that I've put in, in Anchorage. And below that, he'll point it out to you, TO1. That's uh, D rated takeoff one. That takes 10% off the maximum rated thrust. And then DO, TO2, that's 20% off maximum rated thrust. And on the other side, you've also got maximum climb thrust, climb. And you've got climb one, which is also 10%, pretty much. Climb two, which is also 20%. And then the Q climb is the quiet climb, which I'll tell you about later. Now, as you can see, there's a, the one selected is TO, and it's showing us there TO at the top, 32 degrees, and it's giving us an M1 of 100.7. So if he selects now TO1, that changes. As you can see there, it now becomes maximum plus of 96.4. TO2, please. CO2 selected and it drops to 92.1 so those are fixed D rates now for each of the uh, takeoff settings TO, TO1 or TO2 we can also put an assumed temperature in so let's say the temperature today we're going to use TO2 and temperature of 50 degrees because we're making the engine think it's in a 50 degree environment and in that case it says at 50 degrees, I can only give you 86% N1. And let's go to TO max, TO, it's TO. So it should go back to our 100.7, there it is. And let's put an assumed temperature also of 50 degrees. And that will also drop the uh, N1 to 93.9. Again, we're making the engines believe they're operating in an environment of 50 degrees so that would drop if it if the temperature was 50 degrees it wouldn't give you 100.7 it would give you what is showing there 93.9 for the reasons i once told you about okay so we'll continue the discussion so later